If you've got overlapping objects in your design, you can use Boolean operations to perform different add, intersect, subtract and divide operations to allow you to form new shapes. So we'll look at this just now and we'll look at two ways of doing it. One of them is destructively and the other one is non-destructively using something we call compounds. Okay, so let's look at the add Boolean operation first. So let's just create some uh, shapes that we can add together. So what I want to do is to just reposition this transform origin to the bottom of the shape and do a command J, control J, duplicate. And then I can rotate about that particular origin. And I'll do command J again once and once again. And that creates my four shapes that I want to add together. Marquee select over the shapes and then from the toolbar at the very top of the uh, user interface click add and that will create uh, a single shape from these four objects. We'll just see that now. And if I switch on another shape, uh, an actual circle and reposition that just right to the center of the um, previous shape, select them both together, and then I'll be able to do a subtract. And that cuts out the middle of the new shape. So I'll introduce a, a rectangle now. I'll just drag that one upwards to roughly about there. Drag it down a little bit more. And Let's just have a look at doing another shape and that's uh, another circle and we'll just enable that. Position it to about here. Do a duplicate, so that's command J again. And reposition slightly uh, diagonally off away from the uh, original shape, original circle. Okay, so that's fine. So if I select both of these together, I'll then be able to show you the intersect option. And what I'll do here, instead of just clicking on it, I'm going to press the Alt key. And this creates a compound, and that's a non-destructive compound, which will allow you to modify the shapes, even though you performed a Boolean operation on them you can modify them at a later date. So I'll just do that. So that's fine. So I'll repeat this process um, with another circle. Let's move this one to about here. And I'll duplicate that. In this case, I'll just move the duplicate up using the shift key to get that diagonal positioning and I'll bring them together using the same operation using the alt key to create a compound. Incidentally the uh, layer itself is called compound when you create a compound and uh, you get an idea in here of exactly what's happening with the compound. So we have the two ellipses there and they've been brought together using this intersect operation. And you can move these if you want to. I'll just do that now. So by selecting this particular object, I can just drag that a little bit. And for this one, I can do the same thing. Here we go. So that covers uh, intersect operation using compounds. Let's look at the final two options. So if I just select this one and the petal shape, uh, what I can do is to choose XOR, which kind of like uh, deletes any overlapping area as opposed to keeping overlapping areas and we get this kind of like cut out. And if I just do an undo there, I'll just try that with these leaves. And 
Okay, so we're going to select that one, that one, that one and the petal, and then do a, an XOR operation. You can see you get a different kind of a design because it's cutting away overlapping areas. So I'll just undo there and I'll show you the last Boolean operation, which is divide. And this simply uh, splits all of your objects up into effectively fragments. And once applied, you can separate them out and use them in various artistic ways.